you guys welcome back to my channel so amy duggar king she done an interview with today and i'm going to kind of break down some of the things that she said she talks about her cousins the duggar girls and how the way they're raised how it's sad it's unfair she also talks about her grandmother who was also josh's grandmother and how she feels that god took her because it was her time but also because she would not be able to handle what's going on today so just to break it all down for you guys, in a new interview with today, Amy discussed the charges against Josh. Trigger warning, this video is going to be talking about Josh Duggar and the charges against him. They are very sickening. The charges against him involve children as young as 18 months old. So if you do not want to listen any further, I completely understand. Or if you just want to listen with caution, I get that as well. So she called Josh's actions or alleged actions disgusting and sickening. And she also admitted that she fears for the safety of his own kids. She also opened up about the sad way her girl cousins were brought up, uh, the type of religion they were brought up in, stating that they are encouraged to only pursue getting married and having babies. Amy, who has appeared on the Duggar Family Show, 19 Kids and Counting, stated that she was shocked by Josh's arrest. And she also seemed surprised that Josh was later released on bail and given access to his six children. Uh, we know that Anna is pregnant with number seven. His children range in age from 18 months old to 11 years old, which is almost exactly the ages of the children that he was viewing, allegedly viewing in the CP content. I think on what we heard, it was the youngest 18 months and the oldest 12 years old. So, um, when asked if she's worried about it, she said, why wouldn't I worry about that? My heart goes out to all those innocent, sweet victims. It breaks my heart. I really hope justice is served. If you're going to look at such disgusting and sickening images, justice has to be served. Now, when I talked about this in a previous video, I said that, that I believe that anyone with a heart, with morals, they're disgusted by this behavior. But I think even more so when you're a mother, you just automatically think back to your child at that age. So when you hear that Josh Duggar was watching an 18 month old be abused, allegedly, you automatically think back to your children at the age of 18 months old and how you would feel if somebody done something to them. Now, Amy has a 19 month old son and that's actually what she talked about when she spoke to today. She was shocked to learn the details of the case against Josh and she is quoted as saying, to look at my little guy who is 19 months old, my heart and my brain cannot comprehend that. It blows my mind. It's heartbreaking and disgusting and evil. It is so evil. I want nothing to do with it. Amy told the site that she has distanced herself from some of the Duggar families. However, she is still very close with Jill Duggar. And when talking about the reasoning for why she had to distance herself from certain Duggar family members like Josh, like Jim Bob, like Michelle, she said it was for her own mental health. Um, but she did say that her and Jill get along great. And when talking about Jill and how Jill herself has started to back away from the Duggar family and she is becoming her own person as well, she says it's okay to protect yourself from negativity and it's okay to step back. I think that's where I'm at. Jill and I are very, very close. She is really such a sweet person and she is growing into her own. And to see her live her life that's freeing and still godly, but not being restrained, it is really, really a beautiful thing to see. She has my full support. Amy also talked about the sad ways that girls were raised in the fundamentalist Christian circles. Um, Amy did not grow up in the IBLP, but she did have a front row seat to it because her family members were in it. So she did talk about what they preach, particularly to young girls. She said, it's the ultra conservative way certain family members are raised. I don't necessarily think that it's fair. Stating that the young girls are encouraged to only focus on having babies rather than pursuing a career or getting a higher education. To date, none of the Duggar girls have attended college and all were homeschooled. Not that anything is wrong with homeschooling, um, but yeah, they were all homeschooled because they believe that a public school opens you up to Satan. Not that it just opens you up to Satan, 
but if you go to a public school, you will turn your back on God. So that's one of the things that they were raised to believe. So not only are they homeschooled, but they do not go to college. She said, I think they should have schooling and the ability to do other things besides being a mom and having babies. God gives you freedom. That's why there's so many different people, jobs, and lifestyles. Amy was raised by her mom, Deanna, and Deanna is Jim Bob's sister. She was also very close to her grandmother, Mary. Mary died in June of 2019, and Amy posted a Instagram post just the other day. It was a picture of her, her mom, and her grandmother, and this is what she captioned it as. It would have been your 80th birthday today. I miss everything about you. The little things that nobody knows about you but me. My shopping buddy. The way you didn't like music in the car. Ice cream outings. And your many, many lectures on the way to school. How do you go share your faith at the laundromat? A grocery store. You always had that little Bible with you everywhere you go. And now it's in my car. You always wore that beautiful gold necklace on special occasions. And now I'm wearing it today. You drilled into my head. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. You cried with me when my high school boyfriend broke my heart. And you held my hand every time I fell down. Back then, I didn't really appreciate all of those lectures all the time. But now, I hold them close to my heart. I remember you sat down with Dylan for like five hours asking him all kinds of questions to make sure he would take good care of me. Hilarious and the sweetest memories I'll never forget. Our little precious one has your smile and it makes my heart melt. I miss you terribly, but at the same time, I'm so thankful you are in perfect peace. This world is so sad. And if you were here, you'd be heartbroken. Your heart was too precious to handle that kind of weight. I believe God took you away because it was your time to go, but also to protect you. Love you always and forever. No doubt, I don't think their grandmother could have handled something like this. When I think about something like this, I think of my grandmother as well. Like, holy crap, if one of my, God forbid, like my grandmother would literally probably have a heart attack or a stroke. Older people, they're not in the best of health. And news like this could literally make their blood pressure go up. And then they would just be in a bind, you know. So, the situation all around, you guys, is sad. It's nice to know that Jill has some support. Um, because Jill isn't doing anything wrong just living her life. She's not as extreme as Jim Bob and Michelle is. She is literally a victim. And the very family, the boy that victimized her, now has the full support of his dad. But Jill don't have the full support of her dad. It makes no sense to me, you guys. I'm just blown away. She talked to today, and those are some of the things that she said, so I just wanted to bring that to you guys. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. She says that she is concerned about Josh's kids and that justice definitely should be served. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.